What's up, Squirrelgers? It's Nerp here, and here we have the games against Blinky. I'm sure this is uh, going to be one of my most tough opponents. Um, I'm playing Tempo Order here. I can go 2-drop, but I'm going to redraw. I want to see if I can get a Crossman or Aging Knight. That's a little better. I don't think I need to go with the Double Proud Mercenaries. Okay, and in case he goes with like a Revenant in front of this, I can pother it away. <laughs> okay, he might be going with the Yolo Decay. Um, I think I'd rather keep the Skirmisher for next turn. Because the Skirmisher Decay right now has a lot of low health creatures that the Skirmisher can plow through. Interesting. Maybe he's not playing Yolo Decay. Maybe he's playing more of a mid-range kind of deck. Because I'm not sure if... I'm considering taking Wainwood out of my aggressive one. So this is a pretty important set of games. Because I am... Uh, I'm going to keep the Pother. Because I am 4-0 in the tournament so far. And Blinky is 4-1. So I have a slightly higher, you know, win rate than him. However, it's uh if I lose two of these three games to Blinky, I'm out of the I'm out of the tournament. So I could I could realistically end up going five and one and, and lose. Okay, decimation or favored. I think I'm gonna get rid of the favored right now, because I want the spells for the Relorus, and I don't have a Dominion anyways. Okay, pretty good top deck I can play another card. Okay, I'm gonna move down and play the skirmisher. So definitely not an aggro decay deck. I don't think he'd be running a five drop lifesteal if that's the case. I'm sure this deck has, you know, Witch Doctors, Halls of Omasa, and the like. We'll see which one comes out now. Not either of those, okay. Blight Bear. Okay. Now let's see. Is there a way for me to kill that life stealer? My resonant sword on the crossbowman. And then play a spell. If I could top deck like a focus, that'd be good. I'm gonna get rid of the favorite again. No focus. Okay, I'm not going to bother dealing any damage to the life stealer right now, then. I'm just going to fill the board a bit. Do I put these down here? Nah. Keep it up top. If he has a uh, soul steal, he's probably going to use it now, so that, he, that way he can use the life stealer to kill the Relorus. That would be a pretty good play for him. Otherwise, I can probably do big things for me next turn, provided he doesn't damage curse the Skirmisher. Okay. Witch Doctor. Now, how should I proceed here? Decimation, Resonant Sword. I'm going to get rid of the Faith Blessing. Although, so Resonant Sword would make you have 5 attack if I play the Decimation. So, maybe not this turn. I wish I had a Paw there or something. Okay, let's get rid of the Faith Blessing. Blessing of Haste. Okay, this turn I think I, uh, I think I hold off on... Yeah, I think I'm going to hold off on any, uh, any crazy business. I will deal three damage to that. Just play the Skirmisher. Yeah, sure. I guess I'll move over here. A little, I'm lining up a lot right now. Slightly afraid of him going with like a soul sealing his own blight bearer or something. And just poisoning everything I have. But I mean that would not be the worst thing in the world. I think he's gonna do it. At least I'd get a couple more attacks in. Nope, he's not gonna do it. Okay, do I have Okay, what can I do here to kill that witch doctor? Okay, that's what I needed. Okay, so if I decimation I think a decimation focus blessing of haste would do it. So focus would give you. S hmm. I'm just gonna do it. I'm not gonna think about much else. Cause I need. I only. I only have five resources actually. So resonant sword. Resonant sword blessing of haste focus would give you five attack, six attack. Okay, I'm, just, I'm gonna start doing things. Okay, so resonant sword. Let's get you out of the way, actually. Okay, now let's Decimation. And let's Blessing of Haste you. Okay, that kills that. You get poisoned. I probably should have not attacked that with that. Okay, and I took out an idol. Okay, so now I have Dominion effects. This guy is very dangerous for him. This Royal Skirmisher. Not sure if that was the best way to go about things. But I went for it. I'm pretty afraid of a Necrogut in here. 
Okay, I'm gonna want to get Roasted Bean Potion, Blessing of Haste, you know, all that stuff. Don't like Sacrificing Focus, but I think I have to do that. Okay. Um, hmm. What do I want to do here? I could deal 2 damage to the Pack Husk, but I think I'm gonna move down. Because I want to survive in Necro Geddon. Should I deal 2 damage to the Pack Husk or hit the Idol? I'll deal... Necrogun's coming, I think. I'll deal some idle damage. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not touching that idle for a while. Okay. One, two, three. I'm gonna move, I'm gonna put a four health thing in front of that. Because, I could focus that to kill it, but I don't think I'm going to. Put a four health thing in front of that, because if he doesn't necro get him then, he can't kill the rollers. Damage curse on that knight, figured. Okay, but at least that means that I will get an attack in with the guard. Okay. Now, let's see. A focus on the guard would give him 9 attack. So I could take out another idol. I don't think I want to do that yet, though. I'm going to take out some of his units. Do I... Yeah, I'm going to get rid of the uh, Wings Warder. Ooh, Decimation, that's pretty good right now. So Decimation would kill these guys. And then I'll play the Duke of German. And let's just move up with this. So this would get to... 6 attack, plus 2 is 8, infantryman gets 7 and 3, okay, so I can, I can destroy an idol this turn by doing this. Yeah, I'm not going to kill the pack cost, I'm just going to go ahead and do it like this. Okay, decimation. Oh shoot, now he doesn't have more, that was stupid, I forgot that this guy lose attack from that. Okay, but at least this is in, this is in decimation range, so I think he's a little afraid of that. I forgot that the husks would uh, lower the lower the expedition guard's attack. In that case, I probably would have killed his units. Hopefully that doesn't come back to bite me. But, I don't know. It's Temple Order. Can't be the worst thing in the world to just deal idle damage. Okay, a lot of humans, so that this, this guy's attack is not crazy. Age Knight and a focus. Um, I think I gotta get the Skirmisher out. So I'm actually gonna sacrifice the focus. Okay. I'm going to... Unfortunately, I can't kill this Trizen right now. I need to get the Skirmisher, Agent Knight, Crosswoman out, yeah. He can't deal with it all. If he Necro get it, I'll keep. I'm not going to put things down here because if he, if he, this Expedition Guard is dead regardless. Okay, now I'm going to play the Skirmisher and the Aging Knight. Do I even play the Crossman? There's, not, there's nowhere to play it to ensure it survives. Yeah, I'm not gonna play the Crossman. I'd rather have another card in case I top deck something I need to keep. At this point, I don't think the Crossman's getting another attack off. Okay, Soul Steal on that. I need a Roasted Bean Potion, Blessing of Haze, something like that. Not sure how many more Faith Blessings and Decimations I have that I haven't drawn yet. I'm only running, I think, one Faith Blessing. So... I already, I think I sacrificed that early on. I already played, I think, two decimations. So I might only have one decimation left, which is kind of scary. Okay, I really want to be able to make this skirmisher attack next turn because he's a lot of one health creatures. Okay, glad he didn't play Witch Doctor. I think he's filling up his board. Wants to only do Necrogun once it's like worth it for him. Ducal skirmisher. I'm gonna keep the Ducal skirmisher, I think. Actually, no. At this point. I want to have a big turn and play multiple things. Okay, there's the decimation. I should probably save that for when it's like a when it's like a win, you know. Okay, so I'm going to I think play the wings captain to protect the skirmisher. I'll destroy the ripper. I should probably destroy his creature just in case he has a necrogen. Okay. Move these guys down. Play the Wings Captain in front of here. So I kind of protect what's going on there. And then I'll play the Crossbowman here. So I'll do a little bit of protection. Okay. So he really needs... He can curse and then Necro him, Which would allow him to destroy the Skirmisher. So that might be what he does here. Yep, I think he's going to do that. 
Okay. So he's going to destroy the Skirmisher. Oh boy. That's not too good for me. This is going to be tough to come back from, I think. Pretty tense. Okay. Let's see. Can I get a Roasted Beam Potion or something? Oh, now I have the Roasted Beam Potion. I can go for Roasted Beam Potion Focus, which would... It would deal 5 damage to that. It's not enough, I don't think. Okay. I'm just going to have to put some stuff down now. Okay. To me, this idol's just dead to decimation, so I'm not going to bother bother with it. Okay, if he has another Necrogeddon, okay. Now, I want to top like a flip. Because this has 10 attack now, and I have Roast I can make it attack next turn, and it's going to survive. So if he leaves an idol open, I can top like a flip. Is he going to leave it open? Ah, oh, almost. Okay. I, I, may have, I, I, think, I think I got this game. So I'll Roasted Beam Potion, I'll flip this. And then decimation next turn. And he knows I'm going to have the decimation because uh, he can't win next turn. And he knows I have the decimation because I'm not going to sacrifice. Jeez. Oh no, I don't have... Um... I'll need a second decimation, actually. Yeah. Because this guy can't get up to... This, this guy has 10 resources. 10. He, he only has... He's, he's going to have 9. Crap. I'm still going to have to do it. I can't lose the other decimation. Okay, so let's... So let's flip this. Is there any way for me to do this otherwise? No, I don't think so. Let's flip this down here. Then we'll roast a bean potion. This is risky. This is very risky. Extremely risky. <laughs> okay. I don't think there's another decimation I can draw. I need the faith blessing. <laughs> He's going to win soon. He's going to win really soon. Damage curse on that. Okay, now decimation can kill some of these guys, which can slow his win. So I think I'm probably going to just decimation on one of these rows now. Ooh, pother. Hmm. If I pother... If I pother this and top deck a flip, I would do it. I don't know if I have another flip in the deck, though. Um, this is a tough call. Do I pother? Because I need to top deck a flip, too. It can't be another pother. Um, yeah, I'm going to pother. Okay, give me a flip. Pausing haste. It's going to go. Where's the bean potion? Okay, I'm going to destroy this guy. So the poly didn't work out. I am going to destroy this idol. And he might be able to win next turn if I don't top deck something. I don't think I have anything I can top deck, though. Because I sacrificed the Faith Blessing. I need to top deck a Skirmisher, maybe? I don't know. Okay, now I'm, now I'm in range of him winning the game. Resonant Sword. I'm gonna keep the Resonant Sword? No, I don't think that'll help. I mean, if he doesn't have a damage curse, I top deck a Skirmisher. Let's just go for scrolls. There's another pother. Okay. I'm just going to put it up here. Protect the idol. So that way he can't win next turn. Oh boy. So. I just need to bust through this idol right here. Okay. I have a pother. He doesn't. I think he knows that I have no more decimations because I played three. He probably doesn't know how I run faith blessing though. Yeah, I can't break through with that. Oh, that's not good. When he top decks and I forget in that game. Okay. Double resonant sword. Um, I have to save everything else though. Okay, since he has, he has game anyways with the necro in. so I'm just going to move down here. The reason I'm not bothering and trying to draw and trying to draw the Faith Blessing or, or Destination if there is one, is because I don't think there is one. <laughs> Starting next turn, it might be possible to draw them again. Okay, I don't think it's a Necrogen because he would have won by now. He would have done it already. 
Okay. Yeah, so Pother's not going to help much. I need, I need flips. Okay, we're not breaking through that. Okay, we got a flip. Okay, just going to have to go for scrolls here. Okay. Um... He wins with a he wins with a lot of stuff anyways, I mean. Okay, might as well protect my thing that's going to be attacking. Oh shoot, I wasn't even killing this then. Oops, I screwed that up. That was a mistake. He can pretty much clear my board. Is that gonna be game yet? Okay, I guess not yet. <laughs> he would have played it already. Okay, the deck recycled. I have a chance. I have four cards I need to draw. I will draw four cards next turn. Because I have, uh, I'll draw one as my normal card, I'll draw. And then I'll draw two by sacrificing for scrolls. And then I'll draw one more by pothering. So I have a four, I have four chances to hit one of the 42 cards in the deck. And four of those, yeah, I, I, there's four cards I need. I don't know the math, I'm not going to try to do it. <laughs> I'm just going to see what happens. Wait, can we win? Did he just last one? Wait, so if we roasted bean potion. Wait, eight, roasted bean potion flip pother. Does that do anything? If I roasted bean potion, so let's say I flip the rot eater. And I roasted bean potion, this is forward. Problem is this guy's in the back, okay. Roasted bean potion, this guy is in front. Then he'll have one attack. But uh, yeah, I don't, think I, can, I don't think I can do it. If I miss lethal right now, that would be very sad. Very, very sad. Um, okay, gimme card. Nope. Okay, I mean, he's, he still needs a Necrogun to win. So, I am not going to kill his creatures. You know, I should probably just pother and see if I can hit it before he wins. Okay, let's move down. Let's pother you. Nope, okay. And I wanted him to not kill anything, too. Okay, we didn't get it. Can he win yet? Does he have the GG? He just, I think, soul steals. I think he has it because he can make both for harvesters attack. Damn. That's gonna be it. I think. Maybe not. Maybe we'll have one more turn to draw two cards. <laughs> if I miss lethal, please tell me in the comments. I don't think I had it though. Pretty sure I didn't have it. That's game, I think. Yeah, GG. GG WP. Okay, guys, I have to win the next two games or I'm out. Oh boy, that was that was close. All right, guys, game two. I'm going with late game growth. When you lose, just go with late game growth. It's a solid option. And this is not going to be a good starting hand. That's not really going to be a good starting hand either. <laughs> going second as growth could be the end of me. Okay, he doesn't have. Is he not playing? All right, that's that's a good top deck at least. Rekindled Spirit. I don't think he's playing a Lingering Spell. <laughs> Just play in the middle. Take control of that board. Wonder what kind of deck he's playing. Rod Eater. Okay, well. Interesting putting that in the middle. What do I sacrifice here? I hate sacrificing a Ragged Wolf, but I think I will. Because I'd rather just play a second Nog Nest. Yeah, I mean... Is he going to be able to kill this at all? Will this be able to have extra attack? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think there's a way for him to destroy that. So I'm going to protect the other one with it. <laughs> he's he's going to be able to attack for 3 next turn, but there's no cards in Decay's deck that can increase his attack like that. Unless he plays like a Revenant right now, but I'll, I'm going to put down a Rat King. Hmm, Frostgill do I want? No. Right, I'm not, I'm not bugging, right? There's nothing he can do to make this die. I don't think it's possible. I'll play the Rat King. And I'm not going to bother here. Man, if he has a way to kill that, I'm going to be very upset. <laughs> I guess he could, like, soul steal his own something. He could, like, play a Dark Lane Soul Steal. Okay. He can't kill it. Cool. Okay. I got creatures. Mm. I'm going to just Fertile Soil now before he has a Harvester out before all this crazy stuff could happen. I could veteran, but next turn I might want a veteran and ragged wolf together, so I don't want to sacrifice anything. 
Let's just fertile soil. And the guys that are attacking are easier to fertile soil. Okay. Next turn I'll go. Do I get rid of the Urhald? Nah, he's damage curses. I don't really want to play an Urhald. Do I really need another Nognest? Nognest might be good. Because next time I play that, maybe I will. Get rid of the Nognest. Yeah, I'm actually gonna get rid of the the brute. I don't think big things are happening for it. Okay, now I'm going to. I'm just gonna let this attack that because I don't think. I don't think decay, as I said, has any way to destroy that structure. There's no way it can just get. I mean, it has like uneasy alliance, but there's no way that this curse hunter is getting plus one attack. He's going for scrolls, which is very interesting. Usually the K wants to ramp up in the beginning. Another curse monger. Okay, so I don't have to play the uh I don't have to play the Ragdoll Quake. So a veteran. I think I just play a veteran. Kill the curse monger. Do I get rid of the Quake? Maybe. I get rid of the Nognest. As good as it is, I want to have more options in case I need to quake. Okay, unfortunately, I'm going to have to sacrifice the veteran here. Let's move this up, just so, the power, just so that Rally Leader can't kill it. It's a weird, weird situation. I've got a lot of Nogs out there. Okay, Oblivion Seeker Lifestealer time. It's refreshing to see Blinky play, you know, just a late game, old school, old school kind of deck. Is so he really going to take out the rat instead? Okay. I could just quake. I kind of want to Yarl next turn. I'm going to go for resources. I want to Yarl next turn because it's like a mini Crimson Bowl. And I'm going to put this in front. It's pretty weird. I think it's... It's pretty weird that I would sacrifice for resources in that instance. Okay, what's he gonna do? Pakusk. Okay. I mean Yarl Urhal just gonna get damage cards next turn, that's the problem. Is it quake time yet? That's the question. I think he thinks I have a god hand. He has a sacrifice for resources. He's probably just trying to prepare against that. Even though it's not like super great value, just killing his pack house that he'll get scrolls from, I think I should still do it. Because I mean, once that Jarl's on the board, like he has to take care of it. And he doesn't have a damage curse in his hand, I'm pretty golden. This will have two attack, this will have four attack, okay. Let's just do it. So the Jarl here, okay, so this is going to attack. Okay. So here we'll have, that can kill that. It's going to have three attack. That can kill that. Um, and I'm going to move like so to protect my things that are going to be attacking. Okay, no damage curse, please. It's not like I have a way to make that Jarl even attack next turn, though. I would like to, if he has no damage curse here, I would like to top deck a God Hand or a Rallying. I think I only have a couple of Rallyings in the deck, though. I always thought Rallying was an overrated card. It takes up a whole turn, you don't get an attack boost. It was good when Crimson Bolt was only two costs because you could make like a seven cost God Hand. Okay, so he's going to take out my zero health guy. Part of me wishes that I... Okay, Quake could be an option. I mean, I'm not going to have... He's going to have more stuff on the board than me right now. God Hand. I top deck the God Hand. That's a good top deck. <laughs> I'm going to have to get rid of the Quake, I think. Right? So, let's sacrifice the Quake for scrolls. I need that God Hand. Is there any way I can kill the Harvester? I think I have to do it regardless. 
So, this Jarl is going to have how much attack? 8 attack. Okay. And then, yeah, this Harvester is going to survive. I am going to put something in front of it, though, just so it doesn't automatically survive. At least if I top like a Quake or something. I, almost, I wish this was hitting an idol so that I could at least uh, get it to attack next turn. If I put another Ragged Wolf behind it, that's 3. That would give it 11. I don't think that's enough still, right? Yeah. Because the other Ragged Wolf... Yeah, I don't think the Ragged Wolf still would have been enough. Pretty weird. Now that he has a huge Rod Eater there. Okay, he has the Damon Curse. That's not too good. Okay, let's get a Frost Scale. I have to rebuild the board. I have a lot of resources now, at least. Okay, there's the Quake. I'm not going to go with the Brave, because that's just going to be Quaked away. I will go with the Sister of the Owl. Um, question is... Where do I put the Sister of the Owl? Up top, I have a two-thirds chance of it being out of harm's way. I'll just put it down here on the bottom. Okay. That Rot Eater is going to be a pain to deal with. I hope I don't see a Witch Doctor, because that will lessen the power of my Quake by a lot. And there it is. Interesting he would do that. I think he should have put the Ripper behind it, because now I top deck the Veteran, and my Veteran is going to make that in Quake range. Okay. Um... Do I go for resources and do this or no? Because now I can play the veteran and the brother of the wolf. I'm gonna go for scrolls, I think. Okay, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna veteran. As much as I wish. As much as I wish I had top decked. He knows the quake's coming, I mean. This, the problem is this rot eater is going to get big. Okay, no witch. Is he going to play another witch doctor? Okay. I'm going to play bear. Okay, so a quake now would do some things. Let's see. What would a quake do? A quake would kill this. This would have still four health, but have six attack. Um. I think I'm going to hold off again. Or I could just quake, actually. Hmm. I'm going to hold off again. Might be a little weird that I'm holding off again, but I feel like that's the move. So I want to make sure I can kill as much as possible. So Quake is coming next turn. Please no. No, uh, this is a big mistake, me waiting, getting a little greedy with a bigger Quake, if he plays um, another Witch Doctor. So I'm really hoping he doesn't play another Witch Doctor. That Harvester is not too good for me. And a Darkling. Okay. At least he's, like, wasting more cards, kind of. Okay, it's Quake time. Quake Frost Scale, does that, does that make any more sense? I mean, Quake, Frostgale, Racket Wolf would make sure everything dies. Right? Because then I can kill this Harvester. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep my hand just do the Quake, Frostgale, Ragged Wolf. So, here's the Quake. Does it, does it matter what order I do it in? I don't think so, because all this is dying at the same time. So, Quake. And then I do the Frost scale, and then I do a ragged wolf. And I didn't get sacrifice, unfortunately. But what can you do? Now, hopefully, he doesn't have a double soul steal. And that's one big rock eater. Goes to seven. What's he doing at seven? I imagine he has like a maybe a four drop and a soul steal. Okay. Wished I could play that. Okay, fertile soil is pretty good. Um. 
I want to get more units on the board though. I can play. I can destroy that with the sister. The sister of the Alma be dead. That's the problem. Um. Hmm. I want to protect that. Let's play Sister the Owl. Okay. Owl will go here. Cool. Okay, let's just go ahead and kill it. Hopefully he doesn't have a double soul steal. Let's move this down, put a little more pressure on. Luckily, Decay doesn't really have stuff to make me worry about putting my creatures together. Another close game. Soul steal. Don't be another soul steal. Please, not another soul steal. I have so many things that are less than less health now. Okay, another Oblivion Seeker. Okay. Verdant Remnant. I think I like that play now. It's time to do the Fertile Soil. Ramp up. Actually, I'd like to top take a veteran. I don't think I have any more veterans, though. It was a rallying. If I go with a rallying, I can kill some things. I don't think it's worth it, though. I do like that quake. I'm going to keep the quake. I'm going to get rid of the brave. Because rallying with another creature could be good. And I'm going to play the verdant remnant. Okay. So. Let's do two damage there. Let's move down. I mean, if he has a soul steal, he has a soul steal. Play the Verdant Remnant down, uh, middle idol. Okay, let's move this down. I mean, actually, maybe I shouldn't have done that because now Soul Steel can easily kill both of these because he could Soul Steel arrive and use the Darklings to kill the brother. Unfortunately, this tree is going goodbye to one hit from this Rod Eater. My chance at winning this game is to overwhelm him. He's already, I already killed two Harvesters. I don't, he might not have another one even. Uh, that he can play until the deck recycles. So if, if next turn I can get out Rat Kings, like get out a Rat King, get out a Brave, I need a God Hand though. I still have another Quake up my sleeve. A Quake next turn could be a good idea. Although this brother wouldn't be able to get off an attack though, with a Wolf or himself. But the reason I say a Quake could be good is because, okay, there's there's a Harvester. Damn Curse. And that's, that's a good good turn by him. Uh, I hate getting rid of the Magic Wolf. I'm going to get rid of it. Fertile soil. Okay, let's quake. Quake. And I'll kill that. And then I'll have a brave here. Let's put the brave down. Boy, that rod eater is huge. Interesting to see what he wants to attack here. I can go with the double great wolf next turn if I can just catch my breath. Witch doctor. He's going to fill the board now. Witch doctor tribesman. Ripper. Yeah, I'm glad I quaked that turn because then the Witch Doctor was coming out. Yarl. Yarl is nice, but... I think I'm going to go with the Great Wolves. Because now at least he doesn't have the Harvester out. And with no Harvester out... Can he can necker get and do some things? He's not gonna necker get. That'd be stupid. With no harvester out, he uh, he it's hard for him to break through a lot of a lot of things. Okay, give me a frost scale. So a rallying can have two four two four attack things go off. Please give me a god hand. That rod eater is such a pain. So. Huge thing. This this thing, uh, this Verdant Remnant is getting pretty good value. It's going to get a second scroll out of this. Maybe I should get rid of the Fertile Soil. I don't know. Okay. There's a God Hand. A God Hand now would give six attack to each wolf. Is that enough to kill this Rod Eater? If it is, I think I'm going to do it. So that would leave the Rod Eater at... It would destroy... Destroy, destroy... Destroy, destroy, and then deals two damage to this. This goes down to two, but it has one more, so it has three. Yeah, God Hand would destroy the Rod Eater. It might be finally time to God Hand. I'm going to get rid of the Yarl. Oh, Mangy Wolf. 
Frost Gown Mangy Wolf, is that the move? I think Frost Gown Mangy Wolf might be the move. Frost Gale. And then I go for the Mangy Wolf. And I play the Rat King. Is that enough to kill that? I don't know. It is. Oh boy, that was that was a good top deck. <laughs> Finally took him out. Okay, I think I'm fine in this game now. Because now we can God Hand next turn. Okay, now he gets the Diamond Curse. He kind of needed it. Okay. Can I? I think we're going to God Hand now. Do I have anything to play with the God Hand? Two drop, please? Nope. I could just Mangy Wolf. Is that a good idea? Mangy Wolf would give him some cards. Mangy Wolf, Rat King, and God Hand next turn. Yeah, sure, why not? Mangy Wolf and the Rat King. And he's not going to be able to clear this board. He has cards now. But. I may have just had. I may have had lethal, I'm not sure. I've been holding on to this for a while, like it's like I need to ramp up further than him now. Okay. Do I have the win? Probably not. Probably should just take everything out. Okay, let's get something small to play with that. Alright, Ragged Wolf God Hand. Um, I might have the win. So that's three on the bottom. Move that down. Okay, let's see. So Ragged, so Ragged Wolf will be three. That will be... No, I don't have the win, I don't think. Alright, we're just going to plow through here. Okay, so... Let's move those up. Let's move that up. I don't really know what's the correct move to do here, but this is what I'm going to do. <laughs> Who knows if this is the most efficient way. Possibly miss lethal. One harvester is going to make to attack. Okay. And next turn we have another rallying. So I mean this, this, this harvester is breaking through that middle row. Let me know if I miss lethal. Okay, Quake. I don't think we're quaking now. Let's go ahead and sacrifice that Quake. Um, just, I think I just fill the board and lose something. Okay, let's get rid of the... that. Kindled Spirit. Okay, and then we'll just play the Sister of the Owl. Okay. I think it's only a matter of time before I win now. I'm a little afraid of that Harvester, but... I have a Kinfolk Yarl I could play, which would give my guys more attack. You could Watcher get in, which I'm a little afraid of. Okay, Frost Gale, I think I'm going to have to go with. I might be missing Lethal all the time, though. <laughs> okay, let's go with a Frost Gale. And then, let's see. And we'll play the Yarl. Yarl time. All right. Let's see him uh, last another turn. If, if he didn't have these rod eaters and harvesters, this would be over a while ago. And this video is going to be long. Matches versus Blinky. Much, uh, I mean, the other, my matches the other, the other two were really intense too, but. Okay, can I win yet? I think I can win. Right? Yeah, I can win. Okay, so six. Five, six, yeah. GG. Okay, one more. <laughs> All right, guys, going back to tempo order. Don't like how I'm going second, though. So this is it, right? Uh, is this a good starting hand? This is decay, I think it is.
Okay. Intense. He's sticking with his decay. <laughs> okay, those guys are annoying. It's gonna be hard to bust through them. Let's get rid of the guard. These these three health guys are tough for him to deal with. I'm sure he's holding on to his soul seals for dear life. Languid is annoying. He's gonna go. Okay. Um do I go for I hate getting rid of a focus, but I might do it. I'm gonna do it. Just play the expedition guard. Pretty beefy creature. So he starts playing Rod Eaters Harvesters. That's good. Okay. Life Stealer. Hmm. What to sacrifice? What to sacrifice? I could play their Duke Limisher and then I'll deal three damage to something. I think I'd rather just play the Royal Skirmisher though. The problem is Witch Doctor's coming next turn. Like, Witch Doctor is coming next turn. <laughs> so I kind of need to keep all that stuff. Okay, I'm going to just play the... Um... I really need to take out Middle Idol soon, I think. Yeah. We're going to be aggressive. Okay, he takes out that guy. Oh, no. not, not, not too hard pressed about that. I'm glad the Witch Doctor didn't come out. Okay, so we don't need to Blessing of Haste here. Now that something's in Soul Steel range, may as well put a bunch of stuff that's in Soul Steel range. We don't need a Blessing of Haste at the moment. Roasted Bean Potion. I might want to just take out this guy. Resonance or Roasted Bean Potion would give you f how much attack? Resonance or Roasted Bean Potion would give you four attack. Eh, only Actually, only three attack. Not worth it. Okay. It's just gonna be some some hitting of the idols then. Okay, bring on the soul seals. Don't know which doctor still. Maybe he's sacrificing looking for some soul steals. What's he gonna do? Oblivion seeker maybe. Harvester. And a river. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to get rid of the Rosa. I don't know anything I need the Rosa Bean Potion at this point. Resonance Sword maybe is going away. Decimation? I can get rid of this Des Decimation. Okay. Um, a Pother on the Life Stealer will let me do two and then four. Is six attack? Is six attack enough to kill this? No, I'm not going to deal with the pot. I'm just going to put more units. I'm going to kill that. I am going to kill this before, uh, before Witch Doctor comes. Actually, no, I'm not going to. Because if I put that up there, then I also have to sacrifice my Duke Olympian. I don't want to do that. I'd rather keep all my units. Okay. So at least this is in decimation range. Let's see him deal with my army. So Witch Doctor time? I think so. I have a Pother to deal with that if I need to. Skirmisher. Let's see, so. A Pother. Pother on this. If I do Roasted Bean Potion, this will have six attack. The Resident Swords. And it's seven, so I can deal seven. I could, I don't think I can take it. everything out, so I'm not going to bother with that right now. Um... <laughs> It's time to get rid of the Roasted Bean Potion, I think. I could just do it to take out the Harvester, though. Yeah, I'm actually going to do that. I don't want to deal with that Harvester. Okay. Let's go with the Resonant Sword on this. It's weird, I know. But... I don't want to get, I don't want to get attacked by anything. Not sure if I like my last turn. 
but I was a little afraid of that Harvester going off soon. Okay, so now I can Resonant Sword this Skirmisher. Do some big things. So if I Resonant Sword this and then Paw there... Is there any way I can kill this Witch Doctor? That's the question. Resonant Sword, this, Pother, and then I have three attack only. I only have three attack. Uh, what do I want to do? I think I want to Pother, though. Um, yeah, I'm going to take out the Witch Doctor. Okay, so Resonant Sword. Let's Pother this now. And then let's Sacrifice here. That's five. So this is gonna deal five damage. And then I'll have this attack too. So this will attack for four. And then that'll go for three. This will do two damage to that idol. Okay. Perfect. Had to go with the deck switch back to tempo. Where also because this video is like gonna be really long. I'm gonna probably speed it up a little bit. Uh, so I might be talking slightly fast. Okay, I'm gonna just play the rollers probably. Should I get this guy to attack once before he dies? I'll probably actually get this guy to attack before he dies. So let's play the Relorus. Okay, so he has 5 attack now. Let's just put that into decimation range. And let's move these guys up. Then I'll have some units down here. Just in case. So he can't really defend everything if he decides to defend the top. It's tempting to just busting in face this. Because then I could destroy this before Wish Doctor comes out. But I can't just be afraid of Wish Doctor. I got, I got flips and polys for that too. I'm liking where I stand here. Okay. I think I'd rather the Aging Knight at this point attacks faster. Yeah, that's a pretty good top deck. Can't win yet, but I can certainly start doing things. I'm just going to move up. If he ends up leaving this aisle open, I can just move my edge unit down to finish it off anyways. So ideally we want more spells next turn. Because if I play a bunch of spells, I might just be able to win. Really I need a Blessing Hazor to be pushing though for one of the skirmishers to attack. It's going to be hard to get through things. Can't really afford to damage curse much right now. Right now. These matches have been tough, that's for sure. Pretty tense too, because Blinky went um Blinky beat Wyler 2 to 1 and then he beat Cybermongus 2 0. I beat Cybermongus and Wyler both 2 0. But even though that means I was a game ahead, if he beats me 2 to 1, that's that makes him, you know, six and that makes him six and uh, six and two, and I would be I would be five and two. Right? So it still counts for the round robin. Okay, is that game? It might be game. Um if I poly this out of the way, then I have, then I have a, then I have three, so then I have five attack, three attack, two attack. It might be game. I'm not really sure to be honest. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bother. Okay, that's gotta be game, right? So I have blessing of haste, and that's gonna be five. Yep, that's game. So let's destroy that. And then we're just gonna do this. GG WP. Alright, thanks for watching everybody, and you'll see me in the next round, round two of the tournament, because I have a uh, one group D.